Newton Middle School, and this is Mr. Uh, Michael Dandron. He also works here in the mornings. He's a, the other orchestra director, two orchestra directors here at Newton Middle School. Uh, we're going to present to you a few, like, we're going to be presenting you the spectrum of your students learning tonight. So you will see the beginners and what they're learning. You will see the intermediates and what they're learning. And then you'll see some of the advanced students by so you can expect your beginner child to hopefully one of these days be in that advanced role with enough practice and work and, and dedication. Uh, just a couple things, just to do a couple of housekeeping rules. Uh, make sure phones are set to silent. Uh, we, we've been working hard on this music. We want to make sure that we, we give that respect to our students for the hard work that they've been doing. Uh, we want to make sure that our uh, phones are if we're, Photography is allowed. Please make sure that your flash is set to off. It's a little confusing for our, our student musicians when there's a bunch of flashing from the audience. Um, if you have a young child with you that's getting a little restless, if you don't mind just kind of stepping out just to comfort that child. Come. Mr. Dandron, uh, I had the pleasure of getting to be here first through usually fourth period, uh, most days of the week, and it's, it's super awesome. Um, aren't these kids amazing? Like, <laughs> the first song you heard was Morning Dance. Um, that's one we, we try to learn pretty early in the year. It, it focuses on the left hand. The second one was Lightly Row. Uh, for the next piece, you're going to see our second year sixth graders join us as well, and we'll be adding the bow to the picture. This is, actually I want to see if you can figure out what this is called.
Yeah, so that one is, of course, uh, Rolling Along, also known as Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, just a couple basic need-to-know items for anyone new to orchestra. Um, you might you might need to, you might not know about some of these supplies that we need or some of the expectations of being an orchestra. Um, so I'm just going to go over three of the main supplies. There is a list that we sent one at the beginning of the year, but number one on that list is the Essential Elements Book One. Make sure you get the one that is for your child's instrument, because uh, we don't want a cellist reading out of a violin book. That'd be really difficult and really mean. Um, the second thing on the list is the shoulder rest. Can you show me your shoulder rest if you have one? This little tiny piece of plastic and fabric saves our necks a lot of future pain. Um, and that's one of my mottos in teaching orchestra is avoid future pain. So those shoulder rests are really a necessity. Um, and then the third thing on our list is cello rock stops. Uh, Rain, I see you have one. Can you hold up your rock stop? Perfect. Yes, that works. That is a cello rock stop. Those will protect your floors from the damage of end pans. Rule number one in orchestra is think and care. Rule number two is everything's expensive. Rule number three is <laughs> beware all end pins because they are sharp and they will destroy your floor and shins. Um, make sure your student is practicing about 20 minutes per night. Uh, any less than that and they'll fall behind and we don't want people to fall behind. If you know your student is struggling with orchestra, we're available before and after school almost every day. Uh, just have your student arrange that with us, and we can even come early uh, if they arrange that with us. And then the last thing on my list is, as weather cools, be careful about where we're storing our instruments. Um, we don't want we don't want to store them in any uh, garages, by any drafty doors. We don't want to leave them in the car overnight because they can explode uh, just with just with the weather changes. So be super careful of that. Um, I just have to say, like again, I'm sure Mr. Burris is tired of hearing me brag about these sixth graders. Every day I leave, I leave Navo and I go to Braswell to finish my day there, and I just, I just brag about the sixth graders. They're, they're the best kids ever. So if you're a parent of a sixth grader, thank you, for real. Like y'all done good. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, we hope you enjoy the last three pieces. We're gonna play Natalie's Rose, uh, Dreidel, and. A Mozart melody.
Thank you. 